Okay. Okay. There you are. Here I am. Oh, good. I don't have the Smundays yet. Good, I don't either. Hello, everyone. Hi, everybody. I'm Steve. And I'm Mark. And this is Smokey Steve and Mark. Why? Yes, it is. Welcome or welcome back. That was yes. really wound uh, up, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah. So. How is everybody? It's Happy Sunday. Yes, Super Happy Bowl Sunday. Super Bowl Sunday. It is. I forgot it was a Super Bowl. I know, right? And we're filming a little early today. Super Bowl hasn't started. So. What time does it start? It's two uh, o'clock Eastern it's here. It's evening. Evening. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. But uh, we have a fun episode for you tonight. We do have a mail call, mm -hmm. and we have an every pit unboxing. We have an that'll unboxing. be fun, and we're gonna cook for you too. Mark's gonna cook. I'm gonna film. This is very okay, cool. yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, that's how it's going. That'll be fun. Mark's, you know, Mark used to be a chef. <laughs> yeah, I was. Trade. So For years and years and years. <laughs> just 20 or so. I know, right? He started when he was five. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. Aw, see, that's why I love you. Yeah, that's how you get him to cook. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it's Super Bowl Sunday. Who do you think's gonna win? Uh, I don't know. 49ers? I know, I don't... I One thing I... I I've learned long time ago, don't talk about sports, politics, or religion in a video. No. <laughs> I don't know anything about sports anyway, though. I, I don't either. I usually go by who has the cutest quarterback. I'm not a big but... fan of competitive violence, but that's a personal choice. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I do I really enjoy the Super Bowl. I love yeah. the halftime show, too. I am anxious to see that tonight. That'll be fun. Yeah, I'm curious. I don't know how yeah. that's going to shake down, but yeah. I'll watch that. But a lot of people entered our contest. Uh, probably by the time this video comes up, it'll be too late to enter, because you have up until game time to enter our contest. Mm -hmm. But we have a lot of people who entered, and yeah. it was really like, they just pick the team who they think is going to win. That's all you had to do. Yeah. And then whatever team wins, all of those people who pick that team get put in a basket, and we're going to draw it live tomorrow and Mondays with Mark. So mm -hmm. that'll be fun. So if this happens to be up before the start of the game, get your entry in. Mm -hmm. You just email us. Email us. But <laughs> probably not. I'm thinking... I'm probably thinking it won't be up. I think it starts at 6.15 here. I don't know. I don't know. I gotta look and see. It might even be 8. I'm not sure. They'll I They'll be like know. sending in submissions as the game goes as on. As the game goes on. No, no, I changed mine. I changed mine. Yeah. I changed mine. <laughs> like we're bookies or something. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. So, but anyway, so I guess that's about it. I, I don't have this Mondays yet. No, I don't either. Not yet. No, not yet. I mean, it is Sunday, which is, you know... Next to Monday. It's early in the day still. But it's still early in the day, and here it's snowing here. Yeah, it's not sticking, but it's snowing it's, quite a bit. Yeah, actually. It is. It, the, the temperature's high. It's in its 40s, but um, yeah. we did get... Um, I'll have to check the weather. I don't know if this is going to amount to anything, but it is pretty... It's coming down pretty hard right now. Yeah, I think in the Poconos, it's supposed to maybe get a couple inches of snow. Oh, okay. But we're in a valley... Yeah. And a city, so we get the, whenever they project it, we get the least of everything. Oh. Usually. We never get it too bad. They're just so good for saying one to 24 inches. Yeah. Then they're never wrong. Yeah. I could guess that. I know. I know. Yeah. But we've had a pretty decent winter so far. We haven't had much snow. The and the groundhog cold. today said early spring. It did. February 2nd. Yes. Punxsutawney Phil. Punxsutawney Phil. Who's only five hours from here. Yes. Yes. So, because we're in PA too. Yes. Gosh, Super Bowl Sunday, Groundhog Day. What a day. And a day to cook. I know. Oh, and I can't take it. And isn't today 02-02-2020? Yes, It's February it is. 2nd, 2020. Yes, it is. And I think that number is like a palindrome. It's the same forward as backwards. Something like that. It doesn't make sense. 2020 Oh, yeah. It's a lot of twos and zeros. You know what we have today. What? Reason to use the box cutter. Oh, yes. You like the box cutter. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, let's do it then. Because so, we got to cook still. So I went to the P.O. box yesterday. Yeah. And there was one of those cards in it that said, go to the desk. Yeah, you have a package. And there was, indeed, a package. Like, look at this package. I know. Yeah. My first thought was, I'm such a moron. I went and I was like, oh, we got a Mr. Coffee. And the guy at the post office was like, I don't think that's probably what's in the box. <laughs> Like, yeah. <laughs> so I brought it home. I was out for a walk just to get some air. And so we then... don't know what's in it. We haven't opened it. We don't know what's in it. And we no. don't know who it's from. No. So, well, I mean, we kind of know who it's from, but you never know until you open it, you know? Yeah. I'm not good at opening it. This is exciting. We... I know. Happy. It's like Christmas. <laughs> I just hope it's not a glitter bomb. A glitter bomb. I don't want anyone to try to blind Mark. So. All right. 
Okay. You, you look at that. Okay. To Smokey Steve and Mark, sent by, oh, T-Dub. Oh, T-Dub. Yeah. Wow. And it what is, is it? I'll pull it out. Let's see. Oh, this is in a big box of its own. Oh, I know that box. Oh, <gasps> no, it isn't. It's, um, is this it's one of those? It's Party Light. It's Party Light. Is Party Light one of those, um... You know what light? Party Light is. Th those houses you're born? Yes. This is very well packaged. And heavy as a food Sin. Oh! Ooh! Oh! 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 Oh my gosh, it's the Twas the Night Before Christmas house. Oh, that is very nice. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe this. Oh, you put the tea light in there. Oh. Oh, the house opens. And it, oh, and it opens up. I didn't know it did that. Look, there's a bed. Somebody's sleeping. This just made his life. Wow, thank you. That is just so cool. No way. It's a music box, too. That. Yeah. Wow. I'm, I, if you don't know, I'm, I'm, I've just started to collect these. Yeah. Wow, I just cannot believe this. Yeah. And it says a window that you can see in. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe it. Wow. Party light night before Christmas musical tea light house. But I don't want to I don't want to say your real name, so T dub, thank you. I this was so thank unexpected you. and I just, I, I'm shocked. I, just, I can't believe it. This is so nice. And what a great addition. Oh my gosh, to I my know. village. Oh, I am, I am, I am, I am, I am so thrilled. I hope, do we have his address? Because uh, I, I got to send a thank you. Yeah, his, I think oh, it's on the box. His, oh man, I just cannot believe this. I don't, look, I'm all yeah. shaken. I don't even know it's where It's on the box. It. Oh, thank you so much. That is so nice. I am so excited about this. You have no idea. You just have no idea. I know. Well, that's you very, have an idea. That's but... a very large piece, too. You have some wow. other, frankly, smaller ones. Yeah. In yeah. And these are these all will match. Oh, man. Oh, man. Ugh. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I can't say it enough. I'm like, thank you. Thank you. Oh, no. That, oh, my gosh. Now for oh, our, I gotta write a letter. For every, our second unboxing, we have we have our every our plate. every plate box. Now, for everyone who's not familiar with every plate, think Hello Fresh, but like half the money. Yeah, um, half the money. It's it a doesn't have all the bells and whistles. It's a meal delivery system. Um, weekly, you pick out recipes. Uh, we do have a referral link that'll be in the description for this. Yeah, if you want to try it, it is. It's it's definitely affordable. You, it's three meals, two people is the standard one, but you can get four meals. You can get it for more people. Yeah, you can it, add meals on, take meals away, whatever you want to do. Breaks out to about five dollars a meal, three meals for two yeah. people. So it comes to about thirty bucks with yeah. ten dollars ship, roughly ten dollars shipping, so forty bucks. Our referral code, you get twenty off. We get twenty off our next box. Yeah, that's cool too. So, so we all get win. <laughs> What? That's like... 20 bucks for your first box. That's a, like 10 bucks for your first box. Yeah, because yeah. it's $30. Well, I think it, with shipping... Either way, you get $20 off. It's not more than 20 I think I think it comes to like $17 for the yeah. whole box for three meals for two people. So if you want to try it, we'll put our referral link in the in yeah. below there for you. And we get a credit, too. Yeah. I think But go to everyplate.com and check out... Check it out. Check out the FAQs. We definitely liked it. Now, this... They didn't... This isn't like an endorsement. I mean, it's not like they sent this to us to. No, we just bought it. our own. And we got our own. It. We get it every once in a while. So, yeah. but we thought we'd share it with you. Our recipes this week is linguine carbonara. We have a grilled onion burger, and what does that come with? Creamy Ooh, with dishes. carrot fries. Yeah. Ooh, and chicken scallopini. So today, after we unbox this, we are going to cook the linguine carbonara. Mm, and I'm going to show you how you can make it at home, too, even if you don't have the uh, every plate box. So what did we get? We got linguine. This is the fun part. Okay, you got linguine. And everything is portioned for you, too. Like, you yeah. know, um, 
We have a lot of little produce in here, actually. Yeah, I grab that. You take this? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we have oh for burgers, we have buns. These are for the burgers. We got the buns. It's not cold. It's, yeah, it is very cold. Parmesan. Cheese. Yeah, look how cute the little packages are. And they gave us seasonings in here. So we need the little for tonight. Yeah. They gave us mayonnaise. Oh, a package of mayonnaise. Cream cheese. Cream cheese. For one of the I think brought on the sour cream. Sour cream. This is mustard. Dijon. Dijon mustard. Dijon mustard. See? I can take it too. Chicken base. And chicken base. So you don't even need to get all this stuff. And this is like the portion that you need to make the recipe. Yeah, there's not leftover usually except the garlic. They'll send you a whole head of garlic. Yeah. Yeah, we always have extra garlic, which is cool. They sent fresh peas. Oh, fresh peas. This is my favorite. I like these better than frozen. Enough zucchini for two. Oh, yeah. That's a tiny little zucchini. It's a tiny zucchini. Well, that only go. I think that's a mix in one of the recipes. It's yeah. not a standalone. <gasps> little potatoes. baby potatoes. <laughs> that's cute. Not so baby carrots. Oh, wow. For the carrot got, fries. For the carrot fries. We got an onion. An onion. And a couple of shallots. And shallots. Okay, cool. All Throw right. back in here. And then in here, in the cold part. It should be the meat. Maybe the some meat. more veggies. Oh, we have some green onions. I love green onions. I do too. I think they're underused. Growing up, we um we used to take the green onions and cut the tip up and dip it in salt and eat it. Mm. <laughs> we have oh bacon, a package of bacon for, for the, the carbonara. carbonara. We have a package of ground beef. For That's for our burgers. burgers. And boneless oh for the for the scallopini, boneless uh Chicken. skinless chicken breasts and then it's packed with one of these and i think those are cold. safe enough that you can yeah recyclable. recyclable yeah yeah cut a corner drain it and it's just all packed in this box just like this with yeah. a little thing in there so that's what we got from every plate so yeah mark's gonna cook tonight yeah. we'll hold on to the others We've... i think these these I love these little kits that come. I, I know. love unpacking them. That's why we wanted to share it with you. Unpacking yeah. them and then cooking. I just, I love it. It's now, so cool. And it's like any other one. Make sure you read the directions about signing up, canceling. If you don't want to get it, you have to check in during the week because it'll bill your credit card and send you another delicious box. But it might not be the you week may not, to get you another delicious box. Yeah, but it's so easy. Like if you go on, you know, if you do, if you decide to do it, all you do is if you don't want it, you hit skip week yeah and we've frozen the meats before and the produce mm -hmm. lasts a long time so if oh, you don't yeah. feel like cooking three times this week you can kind yeah. of skirt that we do really like every plate i should reach out to them and see if they'll send us a t-shirt or something yeah we've done what this is probably our third one we've unboxed yeah we're since kind of a, the beginning we're kind of a big deal yeah we are yeah i'm gonna hit up a and they should recognize million that. dollar corporation and see if they'll send me a t-shirt <laughs> But anyway, well, okay, uh, so why don't we run into the kitchen and we're going to make some linguine carbonara. Sounds good. All right? Yeah. All right. Here, I got to pick this up and I'll get the pasta on and then we'll see you in the kitchen, okay? Bye. In the kitchen. I think a lot of times people um, may get intimidated making dishes such as this at home. You know, people maybe don't like to cook or don't have a lot of experience cooking or think it's really, really hard to do. So I'm going to show you how to make linguine carbonara very simply at home. It's one of my personal favorite pasta dishes. Um, so I'm going to take you step by step through it. Now, all of these ingredients, most of these ingredients we got in our every plate box. That's uh, a weekly uh, meal kit that gets sent to your house. But all of the ingredients you can get right at your local supermarket, okay? So, um, and I pretty much followed the recipe the way they, okay, I know how to make carbonara myself. So I kind of just combined the two and I made it so that it would be a little more simpler for the home cook, all right? So we're going to make linguine carbonara and this is your ingredient list, okay? So get your pencils out and as always, I'll post this on Facebook tomorrow too if you uh, would like to print it out yourself. So you're going to need fresh garlic. You'll need a total of four cloves of garlic. Now to <clears throat> about three of them, you want to 
peel them like that so that they're ready to go. And the remaining clove of garlic, you want to peel it and just give it a rough chop. It doesn't have to be finely minced or anything, just give it a rough chop, okay? You'll need four ounces of bacon, and I prefer the thick cut bacon like this, but uh, uh, this is a personal preference of yours. You could use uh, pancetta, you could use prosciutto, you could use any type of bacon. I prefer the straight up thick cut bacon, and you need four ounces of that, okay? Then you're going to need about six ounces of linguine, or just take a package of linguine, which is usually a pound and roughly cut it in half. That'll, that'll be good. That'll be about eight ounces. But for two, oh, and I meant to tell you that this recipe is uh, for two people. So feel free to double it, triple it, whatever you need to do. It, it You can adjust it accordingly, okay? So six ounces of linguine pasta. You'll need two thirds of a cup of peas. And I prefer uh, peas just like this. Um, you know, uh, I guess it's like in between fresh and frozen. Don't use the canned. I don't, I don't, I don't like the taste of the canned peas, but again, personal preference. So you want some peas. If you decide to use frozen peas, just make sure they're thawed out first, okay? So two thirds of a cup of peas. You'll need one ounce of cream cheese. You'll need a quarter cup of shredded Parmesan. About three tablespoons of butter and about a tablespoon of olive oil. And you're also going to need one egg yolk, okay? So, let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is bring your water to a boil, and um, I prefer, and I think you should too, using salted water for this recipe, okay? So, we're going to put the pasta on and let that go. Now, while you're either bringing your water to a boil or cooking your pasta, we're going to get the bacon ready. So, what I did was I just lined a, a baking sheet with foil for easy cleanup. Again, optional. I gave it a quick spray with Pam, cooking spray. And I laid my bacon out on there. Now next, we're going to take three cloves of garlic, like this, and we're going to take a small piece of foil, and we're going to make a little nook for like that for it. And then you're going to want to put a tiny bit of olive oil, maybe just a drizzle, about like, perfect, like that, okay? Let it get covered, and then you're going to want to cinch it closed, making a little envelope or a little poof pouch, I like to call them. <laughs> and you're going to set that on there as well. And now we're going to put it into a 425 degree oven and you're going to want to put it in there for about 15 to 20 minutes. You want the bacon to be um, crispy but not burnt. We'll put it that way, okay? So we're going to put that in and we're going to let that bake and uh, we'll see you when that comes out and we'll do the next step, all right? Okay. Okay, and we're back. So our pasta is done. Nice and yummy, al dente pasta. And I drained that, and then I gave it just a tiny little drizzle of olive oil, okay? And we'll set that aside. And you're going to reserve some of the pasta water, okay? So we did that. And our bacon is all done. There we go. I think this is perfect. A little bit warm. Perfect. It's uh, a little bit crispy, but it's not burnt, you know. And our little roasted garlic. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Mm. Mm. I love roasted garlic. So what we're going to do is we're going to transfer all of this to a cutting board, okay? That and our bacon. Let's just transfer this all. Oh, it's not that hard. I'll just use my fingers. Uh, 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 uh. All right. There we go. You're mean. I'm not mean. You'll thank me when you eat it. Now we're going to give the bacon a rough chop. Just like that. Mmm, smells so good. All right. Just like that. And that's pretty good. I think that's good. Some big ones, some little ones. You want to have bacon in every bite, in my opinion. Now, if you want a little healthier version of this, you could switch to turkey bacon if you'd like. Um, I don't know if that would be authentico, but hey, you want to make it a little more healthy, maybe use some whole wheat pasta, maybe some gluten-free pasta. You could make it a little bit more healthy. Okay, and to, we're going to do the same thing to our garlic, except for we're just going to smash it, okay? Just like that, and then 
Let's give it a little rough. All right, perfect. Now that's ready. All right, let me wash my hands off. I did that, did that. Okay, right. so next, let's get rid of this. Now, in the same pot that you cooked your pasta, same pot that you cooked your pasta, we are going to melt the butter. And what I did was I took the butter and we have two tablespoons and we have one tablespoon, okay? And let's get this out of the way so we have room. That over there. Now we're going to melt two tablespoons of butter in the same pot that you uh, made your pasta in, okay? Let me grab my spoon. Okay, so we're gonna let that melt a little. All right, just, it'll melt. All right, we're gonna let that melt. And, um, where did it go? Where did I put it? There it is. Okay, now to this, we're going to add our chopped garlic. Not the garlic that we roasted, but the chopped, the rough chopped garlic from the, the beginning. Stuff. Yeah, we're gonna add that to it. And I just wanna make sure I'm doing this in order. Okay. We've melted, ooh, perfect. All right, so to that, add your garlic. I don't like that. Okay. All right, that's good. Now, now you just want to kind of cook this until it's, um, well, fragrant, you know? Like, it doesn't have to be too long. I'm gonna say a minute to two minutes tops. My pot is still heating up a little bit, so. You'll be able to tell. All right. Oh, that's good. Okay. And then we're going to add our peas where I put them there. Now, stop taking the bacon. That was I it. said we need to have bacon in every bite. Now, that's going to be one bite without bacon. Why are you so mean to me? I'm not mean. You're mean. I'm not mean. All right. So I can, I can smell it. It smells pretty good. All right. Now we're going to add our peas, just like that. And you just want to make, just this part, you just want to have it so it, they're heated through and all coated. It's not, you know, we're not really, you know, cooking it at this point. We just want to make sure that it's coated, the peas are coated, and they're heated through. Did I ever tell you I hate electric those. You might have mentioned it once or twice. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I do. All right. Now what we're going to do is this is where our reserved pasta water comes into play. Okay. Once your peas are heated all the way through, I'd say like a minute to two minutes again, you know, I kind of, you know, did it a little bit before I did it to try to speed things up. So now we're going to add a quarter cup of our reserved pasta water into that that there and then our mashed and then we're going to add our mashed garlic that's the roasted garlic i'm going to add that into there make sure i got everything okay now we're here there we go now it's now it's the temp okay we added our water we added that okay now we're going to add our cream cheese One ounce of cream cheese. Whoops. Like that. It won't stick. This is the pan. That is the pan. That plastic would not stick. I have to say, I, I kind of am in love with this with this pot. Alright, so now we're going to now we're going to make sure that this is nice and creamy and heated all the way through. As soon as your cream cheese uh, bakes down a little bit, and that'll take about two minutes. Okay, so while that's cooking, we're going to get our Parmesan ready, which is here. And we're going to get our bacon ready. Let me throw that into there, like that, like that. Get that ready, that ready, and we're going to get our butter unwrapped and ready to go. It smells good. And our pasta. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, it smells good. It's starting to look a little bit more like a sauce with the melted uh, cream cheese. All right. That's good. Okay. Oh, gosh. You should smell this. 
<laughs> it smells so good. I think garlic smells good. I know, anything and it's got do. two kinds of garlic. It it's got does. the fresh and the roasted. Roasted and fresh. I know, right? It's so cool. All right, so now we're gonna add our Parmesan cheese. Give that a stir. As you can see, we're kind of making a sauce. Well, we're not kind of, we're making a sauce. All right, now to this part, you're gonna add salt and pepper to taste. Little bit of each. I would just do a pinch of each if I were your hands. Those are our seasoning stuck to the fridge. Carbonara usually is heavy on the pepper, but again, it's to your liking. So we seasoned it with salt and pepper. Put that back. Give it a stir. Oh, see how it's turning into a. All right, nice. Okay, now we can add our pasta. Add all of your pasta. That's six ounces of pasta. And stir it up. Let it get coated. Mm. Goodness, this smells good. Okay, give that a stir. And now we add our bacon. Yes. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Give that a stir. And finally, your final, you're going to add one tablespoon of butter to it. And it could be salted or non-salted. I use non-salted pretty much for everything. And then you're just going to keep checking back on this every so often, just until your butter is melted. Now, I can see that this is a little, um, it needs to be a little more creamy, so to speak. Like, if you look around and see, like, I don't want to burn this, but like, if your cheese clumps up a little bit, or like this looks dry, this is where your pasta water comes into play. Keep adding splashes of your pasta water until it's to the consistency that you like. Ooh, now it's creamy. See how the cheese is like stretchy? <laughs> That's what you want. Okay, I think maybe a little more water. So I did hmm, two more splashes of water in there. Oh god, this smells good. Okay. Mm. Okay, now I think that's mixed pretty good. I think it's it's a nice temperature. In fact, I might do a tad bit more. Let's see. I'm trying to get the temp the consistency that I like. Ooh, okay, that's it. All right. So I don't know. Let's see. What did I add? Three splashes. Probably about mm, about another eighth cup of pasta water, maybe or so. Again, just you just keep adding it to your liking until you get to the uh, consistency that you like. All right, so our butter is thoroughly melted. Everything's well incorporated. And stop. And when you hear the sizzle, I hear a sizzle. I'm put everything aside. It's sizzling. Take it off the heat. And we're going to add our one egg yolk to it, okay? So add that in there. And all the residue heat will definitely, we'll, we'll cook this and bring it up to temp. Um, and it makes this like dish, it just takes it to the next level. Stir it in. Mm -mm -mm. Now you get the creamy, luxurious, silky goodness that this pasta dish brings you. Mm. There you go. Mm. <laughs> I'm hungry. Right? I know. This is one of my favorite dishes, and this is I'm, pretty I'm, authentic. I'm feeling um, attracted in some unusual way to this dish. I know, right? <laughs> okay, so there you go. That's it. Now, finally, once again, you want to season with your salt and pepper. Pinch of each. One. Two. Give it a stir. Ooh, okay. And for the crew de gras, we will put it in on our plates. Mm. Always run out of space. All right. Now, the best way to serve carbonara is right from the pot. Okay, and then a final sprinkle of pepper. And there you have a quick and easy, and if I must say so, 
Authentico Linguini Carbonara. I hope you enjoy. We're going to go try it right now. I, I suspect we're going to go try it right now. I hope you liked it. Bye. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. It looks good. Nice and creamy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is kind of like a, a, a mukbang in a way. Mm. I got the bite with no bacon in it. Really? There's not too much bacon in any of these bites. <laughs> I I had one piece of bacon. There's a piece of bacon. Yeah, there's plenty of peas to make up mm. for it. Mm. It is pretty good. It is good. Nothing wrong with bacon, eggs, and pasta. Mm -mm. And again, salt, pepper to taste. I think it could use maybe a little more salt. Mm. Mm. But boy. Mm. Very, very good. Very so, tasty. You like it? Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, have that for dinner. Good. Show yeah, up. that's dinner It's tonight. the gun show. Oh, yeah. Which way is it to Muscle Beach? Is it this way? <laughs> or that way? It's this way, baby. Oh, boy. This way. I'm veal <laughs> under my clothes anyway, so. Well, well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, 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 that recipe recipe yeah cooking uh well it's cool you cooking took, tutorial whatever you, you want to call it <laughs> well you got the skills you took the every plate things but you knew the proportions yeah so now yeah. you don't have to even really get every plate to make it well yeah you don't have <laughs> to but i do every plate does make it easy they they, they do they I make it easy they make they it accessible do. you don't have to go out and buy all the ingredients yeah you just get portions of it yeah one thing good about them is that if you don't have like Right. If you're gonna make a dish like this and you don't have peas, you don't have cream cheese, you don't you don't have eggs, you don't have to you buy have to... all of that stuff. You That's know? the convenience so... of all the meal boxes, really. Yeah. That you don't have to go buy everything. Yeah. So yeah. So if you're interested in every plate, check it out. Yeah. Like I say we'll put our discount link in the description. You guys get money off. We get some credit towards mm -hmm. if we want to get another yeah. box too. Um, and. See what you think. Yeah. See what you like. But right. browse on everyplate.com too. There's all the different selections you can make in different plans. So. I'd say that's a high note. Mm -hmm. I would say so. I would say so. We had much, much to be grateful for in this yes, video. Yes, we did. We have it was food. so much yeah. fun. Mm -hmm. And thank you so, so much for watching. And I have to say, um, I, T Dub, I can't thank you enough for this. That was very, very special of you. It really touched me. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. This made the day. It for really him. did. It was probably the weekend. It did. It was just so, so special. Thank you. Well, thank you all for watching. Please do subscribe. Hit the like button. You can follow Mark and I on Facebook at Smokey Steve Space and Mark or on Instagram at Smokey Steve and Mark. Our email address and contact info is all listed below. Yep. Thank you all for watching, and Mark will catch up with y'all tomorrow for Mondays with Mark. Ooh, yes, I will. It was great spending time with you. It was great cooking with you guys, right? Oh, my gosh. Anyway, yes, have a wonderful week, everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow on Mondays with Mark as we pick our winner for the Super Bowl giveaway, all right? Remember, stay positive, everybody. Bye. Ciao.